nothing like chilling with my girls. There's Just nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Divas. What's up, what's up, you guys? So it's your girl, A, and we about to do this budget, baddie, bougie wig lace front. So you guys, yes, I sold the elastic band on. I've worked with this company several times, and they're known as Reshine Hair. I'm going to post their information below. But girl, this is budget, baddie hair, honey budget baddie here so if you love hair you love lace frontals you love to save your coins then hunty stick around because i'm gonna show you how your wig come So what did I say? I did tell you guys that this is budget friendly hair. Of course, girl, I got you. I got you. There are so many different lace wigs. Cheers to that. I said I got you. And that is one of my Long Island iced teas. A girl, I forgot the name of it the other day when I was doing my Real Talk video. And a, quite a few of my subscribers had to let me know what it was called. So thank you to all for reminding me in the comments. So like I was saying, I got y'all. I know y'all love wigs just as much as I do. I love hair okay I don't care I love hair no matter where I love some hair look hair is expensive lace front wigs are expensive but girl you can get you a really nice one on a budget 
it, hunties, and work it, girl. So when y'all first seen the wig, of course it was speckled. It had knots in it. it you know, the, the knots were showing. So I definitely had to customize it, okay? I did leave the bleach on for over an hour, and I used a 30-volume developer with the BW2 bleach that I always use. And I left it on for like about an hour. I don't put aluminum foil over my bleaching processing hair. I put a bag over it. You don't have to use aluminum foil. But after I bleached it, I washed it. And then I went ahead and pre-plucked the hairline. So that way it looks a lot better than what you saw in the picture. And then I rewashed it again just to bring the curl pattern back. Because once you're pre-plucking, you know, you're brushing it out the hair, the extra hairs. So of course I had to rewash it. So honeys, that's all you have to do is just work with the wig. Now, let me tell you guys, I've worked with them several times before and their hair is pretty decent, especially for the price. So you may need to work around it. They do have other units that are HD. You know, they have straight hair, they have curly hair, they have loads of units. You can check them out. I will definitely post their links below. But I like affordability, girl, okay? And as long as you take care of your unit, it will last a lot longer. So you guys know the method that I use here. I'm just going to go ahead and part my hair on the hairline, hunties, like I always do. And this is just so that I can get ready to use one of my favorite hairsprays to adhere the wig. You know, stick it to my head, stick it to my hairline, or in front of my hairline, okay? The wig fits snug. I did sew that elastic band in there only because I haven't sewn in an elastic band in so long, so I figured why not now? And this is the process that I use. I use the bed head or I also used the Glam Force hairspray, which is by Got To Be. And that's in a pink can, but I don't really know if they sell that anymore. So, but girl, I got me lots of cans, okay? Because I, you know, I bought them in a bunch off of Amazon. But anyway, I take that and I spray that right in between the parts. And I take one of my handy dandy hair accessory tools, which is this amazing blow dryer that I got from Amazon. And I use that to blow dry the hairspray. Now, as you guys see, I'm going in between the hairs. I'm not directly on the lace, but I'm going in between the hairs because I do want to make sure that I'm catching the lace that is on the edges of the unit. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I'm pressing towards the front. So that way I can make sure that I am, you know, adhering the front down right to the edges. Super easy. I have that blow dryer on a cool temperature and I just go ahead and blow dry. I do it in small sections. Now, if you don't have a blow dryer, just do as I did, but in small sections. And then you could just go ahead and put a hair tie on. The hair is very curly. It washed easy. You know, it did shed a little bit as I was, you know, rewashing it and so forth. But it's very curly. It's very textured curls. Not texture, excuse me. It's just very curly, very big bouncy curls. And I do say, I will say that I, I like that because I have gotten many other units that cost a lot more and the curls were not as juicy and deep as this so it depends on you know what you're working with some may not like prices that are so low on units like this but the grade of hair is great quality and as long as you know how to bleach your knots and pre-pluck your hairline then girl you got this even with the most expensive wigs you still want to have to bleach the knots and pre-pluck the hairline so why not try it out with a budget baddie wig okay that's what we're gonna call that budget baddie okay so yes i went ahead and cut me some baby hairs this is optional but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do just because the lace boo so i'm just gonna use my favorite styling mousse from the dollar tree which is only a dollar and it's salon selectives and i'm just going to use this blue toothbrush to brush it down now i'm starting to like this blue toothbrush it kind of took the place somewhat of my green one that i always use but girl you gotta have a standby and this is definitely a standby and i just take that you know styling mousse and i definitely style me some sideburns girl i need some sideburns i'm pretty sure we all need sideburns okay and i'm just gonna go ahead and brush that down those sideburns and baby hairs down Now, if I forgot to mention, it is a 13 by 4, 24 inches, 150% in density. And there you have it. Now, I'm going to be using this Even New York Tinting Spray. And the one that I have is a light brown 
color and I just spray it on the back of my hand Now you could either spray it on the inside of the cap but I like to do it both ways so because I already have the wig on I'm just going to spray a little bit on my hand and use my makeup brush to go ahead and you know brush it into the unit this is not any different from versus spraying it onto the inside of the cap but you know this will also get get the job done girl it gets the job done and i did put a little bit too much girl i can't see but you know you get the gist it definitely washes out and it doesn't stain the hair it'll come off the hair super duper easy but these curls are popping honey i like these curls they did a really nice job with this hair texture i like the fact that it's curled all the way to the root honey to the root to the to the boo okay you don't really get that much some wigs you see straight at the root and then curly towards downwards i like the fact that it's curly throughout and very juicy curls girl okay i hung it upside down hung it upside down to dry which gives it more volume and more curls so i will leave all the information down below for reshine hair you girls best to let me know what you think of this one let me know let me know cheers to you guys i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye